So in these videos, we're going to be using the web-based version of Scratch here at scratch.mit.edu. Notice on the right-hand side here, you can log in or you can click on the link to register. If you sign in, then Scratch saves your work as you go along, although you can still save it to your computer at the end. Also, you can share the things you've saved with other users, and this search box on the front screen can be used to search through other people's work that they've shared. So if you type a term in there, such as maze, for example, it'll show you uh, results for maze, and if you click on one, then um, it'll show you what it does, and there'll be some notes and credits if the user has entered some. But more importantly, as well as running it, you can click on this button at the top right and you can see how it works. So if you click on a, a character, you can see the program that makes that work. Mainly though, we're going to be concentrating on creating our own programs. So from the first page here, we click on the Create button and that will take us into the Scratch Editor. So the Scratch Editor has various parts. The bit on the left here, the top left, is the area where the action in your program takes place. So it's got a background and some characters. So it always comes with a character of a cat, but you can remove that and add your own. We'll have a look at that in a minute. So at the top section, what we've got is we've got a red um, octagon that you can use to stop the program and a green flag that you can use sometimes to start the program, it's up to you. Uh, we'll have a look at that in a minute as well. We've got a title um, that you can put in for your program. This is the, the title that appears uh, on the link uh, if you share your program and also it's the default uh, file name when you come to save it. You can save your program at any time by going to the file menu up here and choosing to download to your computer. So quite unusually for a website, you can actually download to your computer, that's the same as saving, and you can upload from your computer, that's the same as uh, opening or loading. Um, and if you do that, um, then you can also submit uh, your program as part of your assignment as well. And then finally at the top here, we've got this blue uh, button here, and that's very much like the similar button in YouTube. What it does is it makes the program full screen so it's bigger. So we've got the, the area where the program runs here, and then down the bottom um, we've got uh, what are called sprites. So sprites are the characters uh, or the images uh, that you can move around in your program. Um, you start off with the cat, and if you click on a sprite, um, on the right-hand side here you've got three tabs. You've got the scripts, which is the important part, the program, that's uh, really what your work is going to be marked on. But also we've got costumes, so that's the appearance of the sprite. Um, you've got a simple um, editing uh, section which is a bit like Microsoft Paint um, and you can do things like change the color, fill, etc. And uh, you've also got things called costumes. So costumes are the same character uh, just in different positions. So if I swap between the two costumes for the cat here you'll see that uh, its legs are in different positions so what you do is as your program is running you can swap between the costumes and that'll give the appearance of animation and make it look like the cat is walking and then also you've got a sounds section so uh, the cat uh, comes with a sound but you can also um, record or upload a sound of your own so sprites you can uh, have as many as you like uh, so it comes with a cat, but if you don't like the cat, you can click your right mouse button and um, you can delete it. So most things have a context menu which will appear if you click the right mouse button. And you can add extra sprites by uh, using these buttons here. So you can uh, choose one from the Scratch library. So it's got various different categories uh, down the side that you can look in. Uh, or you can draw one from Scratch using the editor on the right hand side or you can create one using a paintbrush or any other program you've got on your computer and upload a file you've already got. Or if you've got a webcam, you can actually take a photo. So you can take a picture of yourself or something else in the room and use that. So we've got the controls there and uh, feel free to have a tinker with that. But any of the programs uh, that you'll be set uh, to create uh, can be done with a cat. It doesn't really matter. And then also we've got the background. So the background again, 
it, that's the white area at the moment we can draw on it using the drawing tools here and, and again you've got the uh, buttons you can uh, choose one from a library or you can draw one from scratch or you can upload a picture or take one from your camera uh, and it's quite simple if you want to uh, say add some uh, grass for example here what we could do is we could choose green um, and so you just choose the pen uh, so just like paint you can draw a line and then you can use the fill tool and as you can see on the uh, left hand side it appears as you're drawing it if you decide uh, you don't like that you can obviously uh, undo it okay so that's the um, the appearance if you like of the program and the sounds as well but the important part is the actual scripts so that's why we're looking at this we're looking at how to program things so if you click on the sprite and then click on the scripts that takes us back uh, to where we started so what you've got in this uh, middle pane is lots of little tiles and notice they have little uh, lugs on them a bit like jigsaw puzzle pieces so you can fit them together uh, but you can also use them on their own so if you just click uh, one of the tiles you can see uh, what effect it has so if I click on the move one now you'll see the cat move so you can see how far 10 is and what move is so it moves in the direction he's facing uh, any of the white sections you can type in a number so uh, move 100 we can see what that does you can see that it moves a lot further and if we click on the um, turn we can see what effect that has and that will be true of all the tiles so you can run them in isolation but the main purpose of Scratch is to actually put these together so if we wanted to uh, get the cat to move uh, we can create a program so if we wanted it to move around in a square for example um, what we need to do is we need to move and then turn so we're getting to move a bit further so we'll move 100 so you can just drag the tiles over and join them together and now if I click this it'll do all of the things that I've joined together so um, if I want to move, a, move them in a square um, I, there's a variety of ways I could do that but one of the ways you can do, do it is to click the right mouse button and duplicate the tiles you've already uh, got on there so um, it copies all of the ones from where you click downwards so in this case it'll copy um, both of those tiles and it's not you don't have to paste it it, it copies them and uh, positions them at the mouse so we just have to place them and again we can do that uh, we can duplicate that again now this isn't the most efficient way of doing this we'll have a look at this in other videos but and um, what we can do is we can just stick things together like so and make that into a program so if I run this now what we'll see is well we won't see anything because actually it's doing it so fast we can't see the cat move um, I'm just going to position the cat um, back notice also we can drag the cat around anywhere we like before the program runs so just so we can see what the, the cat is actually moving I'm going to go to the pen section and um, put the pen down so it leaves a line uh, when it's moving so if I double click this now and we can see that it makes a square because the cat moves around in a square but it does it so quickly it doesn't appear to move um, but we can see that it's done all of those steps so uh, one more thing to say uh, which is in the events section um, you've got different ways of starting off your program so I said earlier you could use the flag um, to start the program but it doesn't automatically work so I'm clicking the flag now nothing's happening but um, just like a jigsaw puzzle these pieces are haven't got lugs on the top they're different shapes so they're obviously an edge piece so if I want to get my program to start uh, when I click the flag I just need one of those at the top and now if I click um, that the green flag it'll run the program and it'll draw a square notice that it doesn't clear what was done before so it carries on from where it finished last time so if I want to um, clear for example I need to put a clear uh, tile in there notice also that these tiles they're arranged in different categories um, and they're different colors so blue are all the things to do with motion uh, green for the pen um, purple uh, for the sound so if you look at somebody else's program or you see the examples from the lessons or in the assignments you can ha find the tiles more easily by seeing what color they are so if you see an orange uh, tile in somebody else's program you know it's in the control section and you can go there to look for it so 
you can put all your bits together and if you save your file so when you go to file and save or if you sign in and save it'll remember um, the look of the sprites it'll remember your background and it'll remember all the steps in the program so when you submit that file that you've downloaded to your computer I'll be able to see exactly what you've done